So I've been making money on eBay now for around eight or nine years. And as you can see from this one eBay store that I started last year, I was able to generate around 280,000 pounds in revenue. And after all the selling costs was taken off, I was able to net around 250,000 pounds. And in this video, I just wanna go through a lot of the pros and cons that I've seen over the years when it comes to making money through an eBay business. So if you're thinking about starting an eBay business, you're gonna get a lot of value out of this video. Let's go. What's going on people? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Sam and what I do here is break down various different tips and tricks to help you make money online. So many people message me on a daily basis saying that they wanna make money on eBay, but I don't really think that they thought about all of the pros and cons that go into it. Now, I do believe that making money on eBay is a great way to make money online. But in this video, I just wanna go through a lot of the benefits and the disadvantages that I've witnessed over the years when it comes to making money this way. So make sure you stick around to the end so that you don't miss any valuable information. So as always, I don't wanna waste any more time. I wanna get right into it. So if you find any value in the video, don't forget to press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Hit the bell notification. Let's jump straight into the video. So one of the benefits that I've noticed when it comes to making money on eBay is the fact that I'm still making money from listings that I created over five years ago. There's some days that I'll be sitting on my sofa watching TV and then I'll get a notification on my phone that a sale came through. And sometimes it's a new listing that I just created maybe a week ago, a month ago, maybe a couple months ago. But most of the time it's listings that I created over five, four years ago. And whenever this happens, it always reminds me about the reason why I decided to sell on eBay in the first place. Is because once you create a listing, you pick the right product, you structure your listing in the best possible way, you're gonna be able to make sales from that listing for the foreseeable future. And that's exactly what's happening with some of my larger eBay stores I'm continuously making sales from old listings. The key thing to remember is that when you are creating your listing it's very important that you think about what products you're selling make sure that people are going to be buying those items for the foreseeable future and make sure that you design your listing in a way that people are going to want to buy from it because the more sales that you get initially the more that it's going to get pushed to the top of the search results and you're going to be able to make sales from that listing for the next year two years three years like for example if I just jump into this listing right here as you can see it's a light bulb and we can see that over 22 people watch it in the last 24 hours and over 15,000 sales have been made from this one listing alone. Now the name of this eBay seller is called Direct Lighting which means that they've obviously branded their store around light bulbs and things like that so people are more likely to buy from them rather than a different seller. Now if we scroll down to the actual listing as you guys can see over here this is where the listing starts. They've put their logo at the top. They've even put the fact that they founded their store in 2004 which again is gonna make people wanna buy from them. They put an image of the item again. They've also put a description and they've put features and specifications. And yeah, they basically you know branded their listing. They haven't put plain text. And structuring their listing in this way has contributed to them making the 15,000 sales that they've made. And I'm sure that because they're selling light bulbs, which is a product that people are gonna need right now, and probably for the next 10 years, unless they randomly change the way that people light up their house, because they're selling a product like this, and because they branded their entire store around light bulbs, people are more likely to buy from them and they're gonna be able to make money from all of these different listings that they create. Like for example, if I just click on Visit Shop, we can see that majority of the products in their store have something to do with light bulbs, whether it's the thing that goes around the light bulb, whether it's you know all of these different lamps and all of these different products. So they're gonna be able to build up a customer base of people that are interested in these type of items and they're gonna be able to make money from their listings over the next year, two years, three years. And that's something that I've learned and I've also applied to my own eBay stores. If I'm able to structure my store in this way, structure my listings in a professional way, find the best products that people are actually buying every single day, I'm gonna be able to generate an income from all of these listings that I'm creating every single day. And I don't necessarily have to do much when it comes to earning that money because I've put all the work in up front, created the listings up front. All I now need to do is reorder the stock whenever I run low and make sure that the products are getting shipped out on time every single day. Now moving on to one of the cons of making money through an eBay business is that you're gonna have to consistently keep buying inventory for you to be able to make money. And the reason why this is a negative is mainly due to two different reasons. First one being that if something happens where you're not actually able to buy the stock, you're not gonna be able to make money. And this is something that I learned during the 2020 pandemic. If you're new to this channel and you're not aware, the way that I buy my inventory from my eBay stores is importing products from China. So I've got multiple different suppliers for all of my different eBay businesses that I'm currently running. And what I do is that I send money over to my suppliers in China and then they send me the stock. But when everything was locked down in 2020, no one was actually able to import anything from China, which means that 
if you was relying on the income, it would have been a difficult time for you because you wouldn't have been able to make money. And this is something that I learned during that time. And that's one of the reasons why I set up multiple different digital product businesses. So right now I've got various different physical product businesses, but I've also got a lot of digital product businesses as well, because I realized that having multiple streams of income is really good because you never know what's going to happen. So that's one of the first negatives when it comes to having to buy inventory for your eBay business is the fact that anything can happen that's out of your control. Even things like your supplier going out of business, or maybe your supplier not having that product anymore, or even your supplier increasing the cost and the fees that they charge you, which now brings me on to the second issue of running a physical product business, is the fact that the cost of your product may increase due to what's happening in the world. Like for example, right now, there's a war in Ukraine and Russia, and that's causing prices of products to increase or prices of shipping to increase. So there's certain things that are gonna be out of your control that are gonna make the price of the products that you need to buy go a little bit higher, which is now going to eat into your profit, which is going to affect how much you can pay yourself. And this is something that you just have to deal with when running any e-commerce business, whether you're selling on Amazon, Shopify, eBay, Etsy, if you're buying physical products from another person, you're going to have to deal with all of these ups and downs. So I'm not necessarily saying that you shouldn't build an eBay business or you shouldn't build an e-commerce business because of the fact that you're not in control of the stock, whether or not you're going to be able to receive it or whether the cost of the products is going to increase. But all I'm saying is that you need to be aware of these different things because when they do happen, you need to understand that it's not just you that's going through it, it's every other business owner that's also going through the same things. Now moving on to one of the pros when it comes to making money through an eBay store is the fact that you're actually able to sell your eBay account to someone else. In the early days of me building up my eBay business, I'll say in the first year, I actually got offered around 5,000 pounds for me to sell my eBay store to someone. Now I didn't necessarily accept the amount, but for the fact that they could offer me that amount in the early days made me wanna go harder because I used to say to myself, imagine how much someone can offer me if I was to build it up. And this is something that a lot of people don't realize is the fact that not only are you gonna be able to make money on a monthly basis from the profits that you're gonna make from your eBay store, but you're also building up an asset in the process, which you're gonna be able to now sell in the future. And if you really wanna maximize how much money you can make from your eBay store down the line, it'll be better for you to build a brand not not just on eBay, but have your own website, have an Amazon store too. Because if you're able to build up all of these different revenue streams from your e-commerce business, when someone wants to buy your eBay business, you're gonna be able to now ask for a higher amount because you've got all of these different streams of income. And this is one of the reasons why I like to build eBay stores, not just so that I can make money from it on a monthly basis, but so that I can build up equity within these businesses so that I can eventually sell it down the line. But the key thing to remember, if you are looking to sell your eBay store in the future, or if you are thinking about building up an eBay store with the intention of selling it in the future is to make sure that you get your selling limit to the highest amount possible because any potential buyer is going to be looking out for this and secondly it's important for you to maintain a high feedback percentage no one's going to want to buy an ebay account that has a lot of negative feedbacks built up so it's very important to remind your buyers to leave you positive feedback and try and get any negative feedbacks removed as soon as possible because anyone that is thinking about buying your ebay account from you wants to be able to list products without having any issues so the more you can maintain your ebay account in a positive way the more likely you're going to be able to ask for more money because if someone is going to buy your eBay account from you they want to make sure that they're going to be able to list products and be able to sell it with no issues and those are the two factors that they're looking out for whether or not they're going to be able to list as many products as they want which is why you want to have a high selling limit and they also want to be able to make sure that they're actually going to be able to make sales which is where the feedback comes into play so make sure that you maintain these two aspects now moving on to one of the final things that you guys need to be aware of which is kind of a con and a disadvantage when it comes to making money on eBay and not just on eBay, on any e-commerce platform, any platform that you're sending physical products out to customers, which is that you're gonna have to deal with scammers. Now, over the many years of me selling on eBay, there's various different ways that buyers like to scam sellers. Now, I'm not saying that every single buyer on eBay is a scammer, of course not, but there's only a few that like to scam. I would say out of 100 different buyers, maybe there's one scammer or maybe two scammers, so it's not that much, but it's still something that you need to be aware of and it's something that you need to plan for and prevent so that if it does happen, you're gonna be able to mitigate it. Now, one of the ways that I like to mitigate any scammers that are trying to scam me on eBay is by looking at the seller protection on eBay. So you're gonna be able to go through this website and see exactly what eBay does to protect their sellers. Now, the reason why I'm saying that you should go through this is because a lot of people always leave comments on YouTube saying that eBay doesn't necessarily care about their sellers anymore, but this isn't necessarily true because 
over the years I've noticed that eBay have made some changes when it comes to the way that they deal with buyers and sellers and they've learned over the years that without sellers they won't be able to make money so they've definitely made a massive improvement when it comes to looking after their sellers. So as long as you do everything you can do when it comes to communicating with any scammer that is trying to scam you, you can always call up eBay, give your side of the story and there's a chance that they might help you. Over the years I've had different issues with various different buyers and eBay have given the money back to the buyer and they've also given the money back to me. So it's very important that if you are looking to become a seller on eBay that you do everything right from the beginning you try to offer a really good service to all of your customers because when you now come into contact with a buyer that is trying to scam you eBay is going to be able to see that you've offered an amazing service to all of your past customers so there's a high chance that they're going to be on your side so make sure that you remember this as you continue going along your eBay journey and also remember to go through this page right here see exactly how eBay is going to be able to protect you in terms of their eBay money back guarantee so if you want to watch a video that I made recently where I broke down all of the different ways that I've been scammed on eBay as a full-time eBay seller, I'm going to leave a video right there because in that video I broke down various different ways that various different scammers have tried to scam me over the years. So if you're thinking about selling on eBay or you've just started selling on eBay or even if you've been selling on eBay for years, you're going to definitely find a lot of value out of that video. So make sure you check it out straight after this video. And if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Hit the bell notification so that YouTube can let you know when a new video has been released. And if you want to watch a webinar that I made recently where I broke down how I went from zero to $3,000 per day in sales as a complete beginner on eBay, then you can check that out in the first link in the description down below. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Make sure you stay safe out there. Peace.